It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened, this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Jack's room. It's like he never... I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Weird to be back in my old room. 
so many memories. Yeah, I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Here you go, what's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. What was the last photo I took of you, Jack? Shit. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Jack's in the prep room. Hey, Jack. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? you people read the signs it's closed <gasps> oh. 
What the hell? Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. <laughs> Where is that? Listen, thing? Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? Where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. What would I ever do without you? Jack. Hmm? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once. I, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke, I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. 
Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh... no, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. You want to keep me out, Neva? They're going to have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day it just... stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. 
you know, the usual. Hello. Might be my way in. Something happened here. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So there I was, existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Hello? Anybody in there?
Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Hello? Thomas? Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. You seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but, but they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going. All the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. N not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a, a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. Oh, would you play with me? Just for a little while. It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Anything, Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Thomas. 
Yes. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, so Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. Up. I can't go that way. there somehow. Hey, an elevator. Might as well see if it works. Sadness. I wished I knew her real name. out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, Sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. All right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? I, I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think... Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and all... Blah. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! I feel... Oh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. What the hell? Who 
who's there? Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures.
Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This... ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. Is someone there? Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Being lit. Calling out to me. It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? All right, here we go. God, 
You're right. I was so worried. <sighs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. One of your friends. Uh, no, but he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He. I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. It, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> Damn it! It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. You want what? Finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. 
Oh, well, I was real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. How could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Thomas, I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me you didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh! 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 
Oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I, I, I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. <laughs> Knowing she was here. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never... Wait. Not here. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Loss, hatred, grief, this place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? No! Leave her alone! This is it. Richard's big, ugly secret. The sum of all his demons. This is it. What is that? No. You're not... Rose? Is that you? <laughs> Over here, kid. Please, mister, I need help. The monster, it's after me. Monster, you say? And what does this monster look like? Sir, there's no time. Hurry, we have to get out of here. 
It's okay, Richard. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends here. I'm here just for you. Uh, what? No! Don't come any closer! Don't touch me! I'm sorry, kid. I know you tried to run, to hide. Get your hands off me! But as long as you're here, the beast will always find you. Richard. It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. I guess I don't have to tell you. <gasps> Thomas? Who the hell are you? Oh. Suffered because of you? The one you preyed upon? She came to me because she had nowhere else to go. Where was her father then? Where were you? Oh, shut up! Stop acting like you ever cared about her! She was the light of my life, the warmth of my soul. Your soul has brought it away. There's barely anything left. And now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. You're nothing. He ripped me apart. He burned me down and left me in the dark. He's a fiend. A monster. Thomas, what is he? He's the one who butchers the soul, the one who breaks it. But you, yes, I know you, you can set me free. I can feel it. Please, do it. You don't deserve it. You deserve nothing. Nothing. Do you hear me? Then give it to me. Please. Do not exist. That's all I want. So be it. Do you think she'll ever forgive me? Will you? I'm not your judge. I'm just the fairy man. Be gone. Richard.
this time. It wasn't just a feeling. It was a memory. Had I been here before? Was I a part of the puzzle? This man, Thomas, was he a part of my own past? And then something clicked. That girl, it's me. But it looks like it was taken here at Neva. Feel it out there, like it's calling out to me. There, in the woods. scared the shit out of me, little buddy. What you got there? Oh, hey! Wait! There I was, following my new best friend, hoping he wasn't as lost as I was. I remember thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. What's wrong, boy? Someone in there? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hello? I wish I could see you again. I miss you so much. Why did I stay? Why did I let it out? They're all dead. Because of me. What the hell? And I'm still here. I shouldn't be. Hey. You all right in there? You shouldn't be here. I can see you. And that means it can see you too. What did you expect, Marianne? He looks... drained. Rotted out from within. Just like those animals I saw earlier. Easy, boy. 
What is it? Oh God. It's that thing again. No! Stay! Francis. I wore him. But then I outgrew him. I want more. Nothing fits. Not anymore. But you, you would last, wouldn't you? Special, special girl. Stay the fuck away from me! Let me draw you on. Fuck. Please. Don't run. Is it gone? What is that? Sounds like... Hoping you could tell me. Hmm. Sadness. Hmm? I need you to focus. Hmm. Think back to as far as you can remember. What do you see? Hmm. Is this a game? <sighs> I'm afraid not, hon. This is important. Listen, I know what Richard did. Was he the one keeping you here? Marianne! It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Lily. Lily? Lily. That used to be your name. Do you remember? All that's happened. Your father. You remember him? Uh, uh, I remember. Oh, mommy. Oh, she was so pretty. But, but so sad. Just like you. It must be nice to remember your mommy. I never met my parents. They... They... We were in an accident when I was very little. I was the only one who made it. 
It was really lonely without them. I, um, I know what that's like. Ever since my friends. This is a lonely place, Marianne. I shouldn't be here. Maybe you'd be better off somewhere else. Maybe I could... Send me away? No, Marianne. I can't leave. Not yet. But why? Aren't you afraid? Of the monster? I am. But it doesn't need me anymore. It, it wants you. And when, when it breaks you, when it puts you on, it, it'll finally be able to leave this place. But it, it will never be full. It will never stop killing. Then let me send you away. So we can both leave. Now that you remember who you are, I can... No, Marianne. It's not just about me. It's you. You have to remember. The dream. The fire. The red house. What is the Red House? You were there, Marianne. With me. You were always with me. I'm so sorry. Lily? Okay, let's see who you really are, you fuck. Come on, I'm tight, huh? You wanna give it a go? Be my guest. Nah, this one's all yours. I like to think I'm more of the brains of the operation. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we? More of that. Yeah, a word to, I guess. Right. What do we have here? Fuck. I knew he was trouble. Security service. That little shit. That's no way to talk about a government agent. Comrade! <laughs> <laughs> with a kid. Oh, but I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. <laughs> Let's play a game. It's called... What makes Thomas tick? So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were, what, three years old? 
And they were gonna kill you, but they didn't. No, they saw your potential and wanted to harness it. But then... The war's over. In comes the heroic Red Army. And... They locked me up for years. Fucking savages. <laughs> they do important scientific research. Find out what it is that makes you special. And what is that exactly? Ask your mom. <laughs> You enjoy it, don't you? Uh, hurting people, like those scientists! What were you, 18? I saw the photographs. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I was impressed. Stick around. We'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last, but always on the run. And look at you, you almost made it. But you had to use this power of yours again. And on who? On your best friend, Richard. You had it coming. Yes. yes. I know, you want it. revenge, I understand. And I would do anything for my child, too. For it takes. Leave my children out of this. Children. Yes. How much pain would you endure to keep them safe? What would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Let me go, you piece of shit! That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. You sick fuck! Let me out of here! Let me out! They're still in there, Thomas. Will you show me now? Finally, I thought he'd never give us a chance. Okay, we gotta move fast. Thankfully, this place has a way of messing with the time flow. I still got a chance to save them. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't worry, kid. This'll all be over soon.
You made it. You're just in time. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's... Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? What the hell are you? What is that? What are you hoping to find here? A guilty conscience? A vulnerable child behind the monster? There is no child. There is only... Tracks won't work on me, old man! Remember? It's him. It was always him. Thomas. Thomas is gone. You're too late, girl. It's you. You tried to kill us! What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillianne? Just 
Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. And there it was, the moment we'd finally met. Spend years in Henry's fucked up world. Oh, yeah. When you. You sent him away. I could. I could finally. break free. That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? Where is my father? I, I don't know. Tell me, uh, how, 
from all this started. It all starts with a dead girl. about Lily. Did my father... No. He couldn't have. He wouldn't. He loved her too much. Both of you. So, what happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. It keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. It is the only place he could feel. Separated from his powers. From me. Came in handy once Lily became unstable. Unstable? What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marianne. A powerful one. I guess it runs in the family. When Richard... When Richard hurt her... It awoke something inside her. Something... Something terrible. It was only a matter of time before it got out. It's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? I'm not leaving you. You can't only save everyone, butterfly. Trust me. Sorry. Oh, no.
No, no, no. This is it. The place from my dream. I've walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time, something is different. Close. I can feel it. I can feel it so clearly now. I step outside. I shut the door. I go into that shining star one more skies out of place and time searching for times that may get fine and so I step Lilian, I've been waiting for you, little sister. Lily, I... I didn't know. I couldn't remember, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It, it was better that way. At least you had a life. Day. That day when the fire broke out at our house, I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? But why? to save you. It helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour, to destroy, to kill. An evil massacre. Yes. All those people died so that we could live. And because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He 
He left you at the hospital, so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he locked me away. But he only delayed the inevitable. The monster, it got out. And now you're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts, but also his fate and the dream. The dream? But all I see is a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. It's not the past you see. The dream. It's what I want to have. in me but no. no no you can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive that's why you couldn't destroy the monster that's why sadness didn't want to go but you're my sister that's why it has to be you I I'm not strong enough it, <sighs> it won't let me Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. Liliana, I can't. Please, don't I'm make sorry. me do it. It's the only way to destroy it, to prevent further bloodshed. Lily. <laughs> oh. Marianne? What's going on? Skin suit. Out to small, constricting, outgrown her. Don't need her. Have room suit. Light, almost gone. Not dark yet, but it's getting there. There is another way. Marianne. No! What is she doing? It changed us nothing. It's like you said. I'm your only chance. Aren't I? You need me. A medium strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne. Please, I don't want Maybe this. Maybe it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. No! Stop don't it. do this! Please, sister, send me free. No! Stay back. Stay back! All of us to me. It all starts with a dead girl. <laughs>